Okay. We're looking at Jeremiah the seventh chapter. A lot of these customs that we do, like for Christmas and and uh, Thanksgiving, and they call it Thanksgiving, but nothing was given. Show me what was given. Nothing was given, but they call it Thanksgiving. Easter and so forth, where they do a lot of baking. That's why it says in Jeremiah 7 and 18, you know, the beginning of spiritual fornication, which is idolatry, which is something that is contrary to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. Look what it says. Jeremiah 7 and 17. See thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? Understand this. This is what we're doing as Israelites. The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women need, need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. Going all the way back to Semiramis. Nimrod's mother slash wife. Who had a baby named Tamaz. To pour out drink offerings unto other gods. See that? It's pouring out drink offerings to other gods. This is the custom of the heathen. That they may provoke me to anger. See that? So when you're doing this, you're provoking the Most High to anger. Do they provoke me to anger? Said the Most High. Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Confuse what? That's why they say they're Gentiles. Confusing their own faces. Now you're knowing that they're not supposed to be doing this because they're Israelites. They're the chosen people of the Most High. This is our story that we read about. Thinking you're somebody else. You think somebody else is you. Because they done perpetrated themselves as being you. But you don't know that you are you. That's why you don't know that you don't know that you don't know. Damn. Therefore, thus said the Most High Power, Behold, my anger and my fury <coughs> shall be poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beast and upon the trees of the field and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. She's going to burn it up, man. Here we know, and it's most, that's why we started with Amos 9 and 8, the eyes of the Most High upon the sinful kingdom. We doing these things, all you... Uh, you don't see me, spirits? He said, you're going to burn this place up. And you too. He said, all the sinners of my people going to what? Die by the sword. He told you, I'm going to burn it up and it ain't going to never be quenched. That's why I say, people, here, the word of the Most High said, he going to burn you up where the fires never quench and the worms never die. Thus said the Most High host, power of Israel. Put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt into the wilderness concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. He didn't tell us nothing about burnt offerings and sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, what? Into us today. Because we're not sacrificing no animals. We back to this point that he's going to make right now. Obey my voice. Hear what he said? This is what he told us. Obey my voice. And from a voice come words. And the Master of Sight told us he was the word of the Most High. As the angel of the Most High, as the spirit of the Most High, then he came in the flesh. to be an example to show us that we can do it. As we have read. And I will be your power. So if you ain't obeying his voice, he ain't under your power. You ain't doing what he said, dude. He ain't got nothing to do with you. He said, I will be your power. So if you ain't obeying his voice, how you, you going to say that the most high rolling with you? And you shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. Why you think we going through what we going through and have been through what we went through? Because we refuse to obey his voice. Look. Hold that. Get Daniels. All oh, you, you don't see me, spirits. While we in situation that we're in now, Daniels 9 and 11. Yeah. 
all Israel has transgressed my thy law. So all is a certain number. Understand this too. It says, yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. What did he tell us? Jeremiah 7, 23. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power. Your is a personal possessive pronoun showing ownership only to us, the children of Israel. Show me where he's somebody else's power. Well, he's the power of Abraham, Ishmael, and his descendants. Abraham, Isaac, and Esau and his descendants. Or any sons that Abraham had. But the most I chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob was the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, this is my name forever and a memorial to all generations. Including the generation that we are now. So it applies to us now. You can tell me that he made 613 laws with his finger and he gave them to us and we're going to say that we're not accountable for what it is that he gave and the time that it took you sit down and write out write down 613 whatever words or sentences how long it take you to do that 100 200 300 400, 500, 600, and 13 more. You take the time to write down sentences, write down these laws. Yourself. For as long as these laws are accountable for in the amount of words that is used for us to have this today. And say that's a waste of time. He wasted his time doing that? That's what you're saying? But you say you love him. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power, and you shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. You wonder why we're in the condition we in today. And you just hiding in the dark, thinking nobody see you. You use don't see me spirits. That's what we did. I'm gonna make it clear though. Daniels 9 and 11. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law. All is a certain number. Even by departing. Because all of us didn't depart. But two thirds of our people are going to depart. They're not going to come here, there, or anytime. Why he said, Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. See? We sinned against him. So understand this, for all you holy, holy rollers out there that think you all that because you know the truth and you or wherever, whatever kind of power you think you rolling in, this is what the Most High told us. So you understand, I say all is a certain number, right? See, and yeah, all Israel. So let's see who that all represents, that certain number. And what happened to us as a nation behind what that certain number of Israelites did. So you understand, when the judgment come upon this earth, 
And y'all think these other nations are righteous or whatever. This is what he did to us, his chosen people, the Israelites. Go to Ezekiel 21 and 2. Son of man, set thy face toward Jerusalem. That's where we were at. In the land of Jerusalem. In Israel, in Israel, the land of Israel. And drop thy word toward the holy places and prophesy against the land of Israel. The people that's in the land of Israel, who are the Israelites, us, and say to the land of Israel, the people that's on the land of Israel, because the land came, you can talk to the land all you want to, talk to the ground all you want to. It's some of the people that's in the land of Israel who are the Israelites. Thus said the Most High Power, Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of the sheath. So we on the land of Israel, we in the land of Israel, so they're going to draw forth his sword out of his sheath, and will cut off from thee, from the land of Israel, who? The righteous and the wicked. But what the wicked done? So we had righteous men and women and children. They had to pay for what the wicked done. Because he said, I'm going to cut off from you the righteous and the wicked. We steady, he steady sending the prophets out to say, hey, stop sinning. Like we saying now, repent and come back to the Lord. Such commandments on the most high before it's too late. This is the last time you can have an opportunity to get it together. So he cut off from the land of Israel the righteous and the wicked. Saying then that I will cut off from thee, from the land of Israel, the righteous and the wicked. Therefore shall my sword go forth out of his seat against all flesh from the south to the north. From the south to the north. That all flesh may know that I the most I have drawn forth my sword out of his seat. It shall not return anymore. So he cut off from the land of Israel the righteous and the wicked. For what the wicked done. Because we refuse what? To obey his voice. That's what he said. Hey, He just said, hey, obey my voice. But we refuse. As it is this day. Going back to Jeremiah 7. Verse 23. He said, But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power, and ye shall be my people, and walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearken not, just like we just read. Daniel 9 11. But they hearken not. We didn't listen. To his voice, nor incline their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart. Because of what the evil that was in the two thirds of our people, the unrighteous, what they thought to do and done, like we said, spiritual idolatry, spiritual fornication, following the way of their heart. Which is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. When you're not doing what's righteous in the eyes of the Most High, keeping His rules and regulations in your life, learning it, living and applying it in your life. <laughs> but they hearken not, nor incline their ear, but walked in the counsels of and the imagination of their evil heart and went backwards and not forward. That's why he cleaves the asked to curse. 3.24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, their own thoughts, vain thought, worthless thoughts. You don't see me, spirits. For many are deceived, <coughs> they lie to their own self, by their own vain, worthless opinion. And an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. See? Evil comes in. They allow the devil to come in and make them make the wrong decision. Rolling with the devil. They ain't rolling with the most high of the Mashiach Yavashai. You rolling with the devil. That's why I said that's what that's what we've done until this day. 
That's why the most I say, hey, he got something for you. Went backwards instead of forward. But they hearken not. They ain't want to listen. Like you're telling them, we're going over these scriptures over and over again to show you the right way and the wrong way. At least I am. Because I have some most how to show me, guide me into what's right in his eyes to be able to speak what's right to you. Here it is in this word. He said, since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, all 12 tribes went into the Egyptian captivity and came out into the wilderness. Until this day, until this day, I have even sent you, sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them, as he's sending you this message today. Remember his hand, amen? He's going to give you passage according to his mind, his heart. Which feeds you with understanding. You say daily rising up early to send in them. Yet they hearken not unto me. Then listen to him. Nor incline their ear. Like a lot of people run from the truth. Because they want to hear lies and deceit. He know it is written here. But harden their neck. See they harden their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Today, worse than our forefathers. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. Speak, but they will not hearken to thee. Jeremiah, speak all these words of the Most High to his people, the children of Israel. He said, yet will thy, they not listen to you. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Most High their power. Nor receive a correction. You can't tell them what to do. You try and correct them, then they get an attitude like, Is you. Especially if the book is closed, you ain't open up the book to tell them something. Oh, they get a real bad attitude. Don't let them think they know you. The book is closed, you try to correct them, you got to correct them because they blood will be on you. This is what it says. This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Most High, their power, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. How many of you are talking about these laws of the Most High? Truth is perished. Truth is the laws of the Most High. How many of you are talking about the laws of the Most High? What's right? Is this right or that's wrong? How many of you are really dealing with following and making sure that you are part of this nation in the times that we have on this earth and you have children? Are you making sure that they're following this way? That's our ob obligation. This is what, I, what this is about. They got to know they're the future. They got to know righteousness. What's righteous? This is our obligation. We are accountable. Go to uh, Revelation 14. Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints. And we know the saints are the 12 tribes of Israel when you read Psalms 148, 14. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, going to the Most High on our behalf. They receive the spiritual power from the Most High. But you got to keep the commandments of the Most High. And the commandments that we can keep, why why somebody not, not want to keep the commandments of the Most High? Why would you not want to do this? Mm. 
Leviticus 20 and 13. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as they lie with a woman, that's two men lying down having sexual intercourse, both of them have committed an abomination, the one giving and the one receiving. Because a lot of times men think because they're giving, they ain't no homosexual, or they're not accountable for what this says. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, two men lying down together having sexual intercourse, both of them have committed an abomination. The one giving, the one receiving. Any way, shape, or form. Any type of sexual act. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Thus say the Most High. This is what the Most High said the verdict is. Leviticus 18, 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination, a filthy, wicked act of sin against the Most High. Now let's go to Romans 1. Romans the first chapter, verse 25, down. Romans 1, 25. Now understand this. Before we go there, go to Romans 1 and 7. Before you get to 25. So you see who the book is talking to. Romans 1 and 7. To all that be in Rome. Remember all is a certain number. Beloved of the Most High. Right? Called to be saints. Grace to you in peace from the, our power, our Father, and the Master, and the Master, Hamashiach Yavashiach. So it says, to all that be in Rome, be loved of the Most High. Who to be loved of the Most High? Go to the book of Baruch in the Apocrypha. We're going to see who the beloved of the Most High is. Baruch, the third chapter, and verse 36. We're looking for who's the beloved of the Most High. He had found out all the way of knowledge. And have given it unto Jacob. Jacob was our forefather. Whose name became Israel. And we became the Israelites. His servant. Jacob his servant. And to Israel his beloved. Can't get no clearer than that. That's why I say when you know these precepts and you can define what it is that's being said here, nobody can gainsay on this. Or come forth and gainsay the fact that Paul in the book of Romans is talking to everyone, every nation. He's talking with every nation that to gather the children of Israel that's scattered among these nations. But every last one of these books, when you go to the beginning, I can prove that's talking to the Israelites. Just like we hear in Rome, that's why I started. One is Romans 1 and 7. To show you who he's talking to. To all that be in Rome, be loved of the Most High. Who did you say? Israel, my beloved. Can't get no clearer than that. Romans 9 and 8 says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. So, make him love somebody else. Show me where he say he loved another nation. If thou can. And I'm not boasting, I'm just dealing with facts. Because I represent the Most High in His Word and the Mashiach El Shai, the Word of the Most High. He said, we, re we refuse to hear His voice. Now you're hearing His voice in the Word of the Most High, and some are going to refuse because you got that. You don't see me, Spirit. Let me see you. Let me see you, Spirits. Rise up against this. Romans 1 25. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? We just read Leviticus 20 and 13. You know the truth is, let's sing it together, Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Your law is the truth, it said. So, it says, who changed the truth into a lie? A truth of the Most High, Salakia, 
Mosai, into a lie. So the truth we know is the laws of the Mosai into a lie. That it's okay to do whatever you want to do. Just follow your own heart. Hmm. Y'all better understand, overstand. This is so important. Somebody changed the truth of the both sides into a lie. Somebody changed the truth of the both sides into a lie. Mm -hmm. And did what? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. I'm not dealing with that word because that represents The creator. But y'all say it and thinking that you're saying something that's righteous, but it's put there during the time that you're supposed to be honoring the most high. Or it's put there representing I'm not sure I can shine, I can prove it. That's why you see it right here. Listen. They real thinking how they put things in there. Like I said, the Bible chapter word, yeah, that's it's chapter word right there. Listen. And serve the, the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Who? Him? No. No. And you ask anybody that's have, have studied Egyptology on a high level, they say, hey, uh, that's inserted right there. That's who you're giving homage to. Egyptian God. For this cause, the Mosai gave them up unto vile affection. See, a man with a man and a woman with a woman, he's going to tell you it's vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. See, the women changed the natural use of being with a man to be with each other. Vile affection is sin. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. It's against nature for a woman to be with a woman. Show you that it's talking about women with women. And likewise also the men. Now let's talk about the men. We just read in Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man lie with mankind as they sell a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them. We just read that. And likewise, also the men leave it a natural use of the woman, because a man supposed to be with a woman. Most I said, be fruitful and multiply. How a man and a man gonna be together and have a baby? Be fruitful and multiply. How a woman and a woman gonna be fruitful and multiply? Laying with each other. I don't think so. None of us would be here if your daddy was laying with another man, if your mama was laying with another woman. You couldn't be here to hear my voice. At all. Understand, overstand this. Change the natural use to something that's against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning the lust one toward another. One toward another. Men with men with men. Can't get no clearer than this. Working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was meet or right. Understand this, overstand this, this point. Because your error is going to cause you to receive what's due according to what's written. And these things happen to those that are, those you don't see me spirits, and they're dealing in this fashion. And also, in the things that we read about concerning what these this this vile affection of abominations brings to them and how they operate whether you want to accept it or not is the most high a man he should lie call the most high a liar and if you do you got the wrath of the most high to deal with that's why I say the wrath of the most look at that lesson I did type in YouTube the wrath of the Mosai is upon the sinner. 
before you listen to this lesson. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge because they're rebellious and they, they do not want to follow the fear of the most high. Most high gave them over to a reprobate mind. Man. He gave them over to a reprobate mind. Debased. Fitting me. To do those things which are not convenient. To do the things that are not convenient, that are not fitting to be done in the eyes of the Most High. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Hear this? Being filled with all unrighteousness. What is righteousness? Hold that. Deuteronomy 6.25. They being filled with all unrighteousness. Not righteousness, but unrighteousness. Deuteronomy 6.25. And it shall be our righteousness if, this condition people, we observe to do all these commandments before our power as he have commanded us. See, we already read we didn't. But one third is going to come back to his law, such commandments of the children of Israel. This is what we've done. Thus say the Most High. Romans 1.29 Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, you know, that's doing with idolatry. We just read it. Wickedness. This is what they're doing. This vile affection. People that's doing this, you don't see me, Spirit. A lot of y'all, what they call it, on the down low. To you. But you're being exposed. For who you are. They say come out of the closet. A lot of y'all coming out of the closet. And you've been exposed. You're just exposing yourself. Because y'all got your own world. Covetousness. The maliciousness. Full of envy. Murder. They hating your brother. You hate your brother. You a murderer. Debate. Going back and forth. Deceit, lying, what we're dealing with. Deceit, liars, malignity. I mean, you got to understand. When you have that you don't see me spirit, that's like, they're not, you don't see me spirit, that means they'll lie to you, lie to somebody else. There's one thing about lies, you got to keep the lie going. And then when you expose you're a liar, you don't see me, you seen. Don't you realize this? You lying over here, lying over there. You gotta keep that lie going. That's confusion. All these things are supposed to say it's a vile affection. These are the things you're looking at that people will deal with that's doing this. Malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the most high because he said you're supposed to be put to death. How you gonna love somebody that say, the entity that tell you you need to be put to death for doing what you're doing. I'm talking to you don't see me spirits. In the most high eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and even the secret parts. Understand this. What's your secret parts? Men? What's your secret parts? Women? What's between your legs? And doing the things you're doing. Boasters, proud women, proud women. Haters are the most high. You can't love the most high. What do you say? You're supposed to be put to death. As it is written. So they're going to hate the most high. Because when you read it to them, they don't like that because it's contrary to what they believe. So they got to fake it. They around here faking it. They living in deceit. Remember, that's that you don't see me spirit. But the most high see it. Haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. Hear that? Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. And now, they, they say the parents got to accept them. The children, how they are. They treat teaching the children, it's okay. 
to be like this. This vile affection that we just read about. Without understanding, without understanding, covenant breakers say something next thing they break it. Don't mean anything. Their word don't mean nothing. Without natural affection, you can't have natural affection because natural affection, you be with, if you're a man, you're going to be with a woman. You're going to desire a woman. If you're a woman, you're going to be desiring a man. Implacable, unmerciful, ain't no mercy from them. Just the world we in now. No mercy. Mercy is not getting something you do deserve. They're going to make sure you get whatever you deserve. Even coming against them, according to the word of the Most High. This is what the Most High is saying. Who, knowing the judgment of the Most High, we read the judgment of the Most High in Leviticus 20 and 13. Death. That they which commit such things are worthy of, there it is, worthy of death. They that commit such things that we just read about, here, in Romans, the first chapter, are worthy of death. I didn't write it. I'm just a messenger. But if you're doing these things, you are worthy of death. Not only do the same, not only those that are doing these acts, but have pleasure, you kicking it with, you cool with, and you partying with, and you accept them that's doing all these acts, but have pleasure in them that do them. You deserve death too, he's saying. Oh, but you ain't know that, huh? Better separate yourself from these people. That's why most I said, be ye separate. But no, we want to be joined to everybody and everything that's going on and you accept it is apparent. Like, how do you accept? How do you roll with this type of spirit? Unless you kind of like that. It, like I say, birds, birds and feather flock together, right? So who's to say when the book is closed and you out there, you ain't dealing with this kind of spirit? That would say those that have pleasure with them, do the same. Death to you too, he's saying. I ain't write it. I'm just a messenger bringing it forth. Take it how you want to take it. You got to take it over to Most High, though. Because he said, tell you whether you hear or forbear. But he know how you feel. He know, he know how you think. Period. You want to know? It's right here in this word. And when you act the way you act and come like the way you come, just what the Most High said you would do. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Here you are, doing just what he said you would do. Fulfilling his word, making his word be true. Let the most high be true, and every man what? A liar. <laughs> Go back to Jude, the seventh chapter. And we're going to, uh, the seventh verse, excuse me. Uh, in verse eight, it says, because that for his name's sake, excuse me, I'm sorry, select you. Jude 7 and 8. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Hear that? Going after strange flesh are set forth for an example. See, all these things, a lot of things that we're looking at is written for us. Us. Because, tell me this. Even when Amasek Shai walked the earth in the flesh, did he have this book of Jude to refer to? 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, Re book of Revelations? No. He went by the Old Testament. Only. So all you that say you follow Amasek Shai, you better know what he followed. When he came here, when he said, as it is written, have you not heard? It has been said, where is it at? In the Old Testament, the Old Scrolls. That's why I behooved you to check this out. What are we talking about? Where's Sodom and Gomorrah at? Spiritual thought, Sodom and Gomorrah is America. 
Romans 11 and 8 says. But this Solomon and Gomorrah is talking about the cities that he burnt up because of their fornication and because of uh, men were lying with men and adultery and, and, and all the things that are bombed to the Most High. A safe haven for those that are wicked to run to. You don't see me, spirits. You can go over there. That's why the Most High burn up everybody there. Like he's going to burn up a lot of people when he come back to purify this earth. Because they're going to be running to their little safe havens that they think is a safe haven until the Most High bring that wrath. Even as Solomon and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh and set forth for an example. See? It was all this happened for an example for us that live today. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. You hear that? Suffering the, the vengeance of eternal fire. They finish. Likewise, also these filthy Make nasty dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities, those that are in charge of our nation and bringing forth this truth. They ain't like us. They killed all the prophets, didn't they? They killed all the apostles. Ain't no my shock y'all was shot. <laughs> Don't be martyrs of us. But you better roll by some of my shock y'all was shot to the end. 1 Corinthians. What are we dealing with? Those you don't see me spirits. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. And all these different words I want you to look up. That's your homework assignment. I got a lot to cover, but I want you to look up these words. Say, know ye not that the unrighteous those that break the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, His rules and regulations shall not, I repeat, shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived. Don't let nobody deceive you. Don't let nobody lie to you. Remember the devil that lied to the whole world. Don't be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infeminate. That's, that's men that's Laying with another man or got that men feminine is the ones that's, you know, supposed to be a man and they got woman ways, acting like a woman. Infeminate, no abusers of themselves with mankind, there's men with men. No thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. You hear that? Look at all these words. That's your homework assignment. Shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. It's saying. For such were some of you. You hear that? That's letting you know that you have an opportunity to repent. Because he's saying such, such were some of you. Some of us was just like in this particular fashion of abomination. Filthy wicked acts. For such were some of you, but ye are washed. You're washed. Cleaned up by the word. Learn it, live it, and apply it in your life. And then you're not, you're not cleaned up just hearing it. Y'all, all, all of y'all are sitting here listening to me, and you ain't taking notes, and you don't have anything to go back to go over this. You ain't washed. You're not washed. Because what you go through this, and the, the, the words have the, just the spirit, these words have spirit. The power of the most high in them. Because he had holy men right as they were moved by his spirit. But all y'all still got that church mentality. You go listen to the preacher preach. And you ask, what did he preach about? I don't know, but the choir sure sound good. But you can't break down nothing. as what's coming out. To understand the change you got to have for yourself first and foremost. To have somebody else change and talk about this. According to scriptures, going here, there. That's why you're supposed to be writing and taking notes. Or going over, I'm recording it. You can take the video and roll it back as many times as you want to and copy it. Go through these scriptures. So you understand. 
before it's too late. Especially all you that is out there that have that you don't see me spirit. When you're being exposed and everything you're doing is open, wide open. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai and by the spirit of our power. You hear that? And we de we define the spirit of our power in Isaiah, the eleventh chapter, the second verse. This Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, is defined. Right there. But you got to be washed. Look. Matthew Shai said. St. John 15 and 3. That's what. That's why we're going over this. St. John 15 and 3. And what's sad is. I've been in this truth for a long time. And. To see. Those that have learned this truth. Those that have taught a lot of us in the truth to go astray and deal with something that un that's unbelievable, but believable because that's what they've done. It's hurtful. But you got to get over it. St. John 15 and 3. Now you are clean. Do what? Through the word which I have spoken unto you. This word cleans us up. Ephesians. You got to be washed. Ephesians 5, 25, 26. Ephesians 5 and 26. How are you going to be cleaned up? And you don't know the word. Ephesians 5 and 26. You're washed to be clean. Hip talk. Ephesians 5.26. That he might sanctify, as we read, you got to be sanctified, right? And cleanse it with the what? Washing of water by the word. You see? Like I'm about to say, I say, now you are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. So now you clean by the washing of water by the word. That's how we cleaned up. Now, some of you that are in the world and some of you that are just coming in or some of you that feel that you're not worthy to come in because of the things that you have done, this is for you. Acts 17 and 30. Some of you don't see me spirits. That want to get it right and repent and change. Acts 17 to 30. In the times of this ignorance, time of you not knowing, not you that know, but you that don't know and have not started to start come in to start learning our culture and our way of life and how to serve the Most High. <clears throat> In the times of this ignorance, meaning not knowing, the Most High winked at. It's all right. That's why he said some of you were like this. Some of us were like this. What we just read about. But we cleaned up in coming in learning the word of the Most High. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. To ask for forgiveness of the things that you've done wrong. Sincerely. Because we're in the last days, whether you accept it or not. Because he have appointed a day. It's gonna be a day, y'all. It's gonna be a day. In the which he will judge the world. He gonna judge the world how? In righteousness. We just read what righteousness is in. Deuteronomy 6.25 The commandments of the Most High The laws of the Most High That's how you're going to judge 
Did you follow what I said do? Or did you not follow what I said do? He going to judge the world in righteousness by that man who was a Mashiach Yahweh whom he have ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and that he have raised them from the dead on the third day, walked the earth for 40 days, and ascended to the right hand side of the Most High where he came from. Oh, yeah. So that's for those that, um, you know, because I've, you know, I've met a lot of brothers. They put in a lot of work that was, you know, really, uh, really, really serious. And they heard this trooper start crying and repenting. Just what it's saying. They repented. And a lot of you see that's, it is true. A lot of us had to repent. Majority of us had to repent. I look at the most I say, seek him when you come back, seek the most I come. Seek him ten times more. We all need to seek him ten times more. Or even more than that. You can't seek him enough. You say in your affliction, you're going to seek me early. Understand that. You ain't avoiding that. Because he said, he ain't a man that he's a lie. So we all got to deal with this. Anytime he said, please him to bruise his only begotten son. Go to Deuteronomy 32, 32. Deuteronomy 32 and 32. So all you, you don't see me spirits. Y'all better hear what the most high said. He said, let's look at, uh, Verse 31, Deuteronomy 32 and 31 said, For their rock is not as our rock. See, our rock is defined. One, of, one scripture is 1 Corinthians 10th chapter and the 4th verse. Speaking of us, we the children of Israel that came out of Egyptian captivity, going into the wilderness. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4, it says, And did all drink the same spiritual drink? We all did. For they drank of that spiritual rock. You know, that, that spiritual rock. That followed them. Because he was the spirit. Spirit of the Most High. Angel of the Most High. And that rock was Mashiach. Right? So. He's telling us. He says. In Deuteronomy 32 and 31. For their rock is not our, as our rock. To their rock. Who they believe in is not as our rock. As if you might think. In your wildest dream, this is their rock right here. This is their rock right here. Bam! Their rock is not our rock. Our rock, as Revelations 1 